Ciao you mentiti of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel, I hope you're all doing well, I tell you, I am extremely stressed. I don't know about my feeling, well actually I know, I will probably reveal it later or during the watch along of today, but I'm extremely stressed for the match day of today, for the game Juventus Napoli, 6pm Italian time, in our Allianz Stadium, it's a game that we need to win. For the ranking, even if it's only the beginning of the Serie A, but also for our confident boost after two draws in a row, 0-0 Roma, 0-0 Empoli, now we need to go back. For the enthusiasm, did you see how much enthusiasm there was after that game against PSV? We need to go, we need to win. But it's also a beautiful day, a beautiful day full of nostalgia. Because we will welcome back someone, someone that will come back in the stadium, it's his home, we can say whatever we want, it is his home. He wrote important pages of Juventus winning Scudetti, uh, Coppa Italia, Supercoppa, it's someone that really, really is important for the history of Juventus. Today he will come back and we need to show him that in a way we don't forget the past, that we respected what he did for Juve with a big applause, that you are at the stadium or in front of your television, I would love that you stand up especially before the game, to applaud him. Tech Chesney is back today after deciding to retire and I need to say we need really to applaud him. Then there will also be another comeback, but that's another story. Antonio Conte will be back. Guys, I will surprise all of you. There is one front page that made me extremely angry this morning, but seriously angry. And no, it is not Gazzetta dello Sport that is really speaking about the topic that I just told you, that Antonio Conte will be back at the stadium, Il Conte Torna. Then they are also showing a, a celebration of, I believe, Cambiaso and Yildiz after that goal in Champions League. But that's not the page that angered me. It is Tutto Sport. And you know how much I care about, I love Tutto Sport, I agree with 99% of the time, but 99% doesn't mean 100%. Today, I totally don't agree with the choice of the front page. I will tell you everything, but today it's a big game. Eh? It's a big match day. The weekend is big in Serie A. And that's why the people from UK, if you didn't yet, the link is in the description in the moment. You have really beautiful game. If you want to see only Juve Napoli, you have the game pass. 499 points for you. And you go and you can watch it on smart television, on your mobile phone, on your computer. And you are sure, because we know it, there is no broadcast except of one football. So that you can really watch the game. If you want, because there are really beautiful games. There is Fiorentina Lazio, there is Il Derby della Maladina, Inter Milan. You can even go with a season pass so that you can see all the games of Serie A. It is active, you can go for it, it's fantastic. Or you can go, for example, for only the team pass for the people that are just caring about Juventus for $79.99. Now that you know it, don't tell me that you didn't know, the link is in the description. We start with a page that made me extremely angry this morning. Tutto sport, yildis esame da dies. Yildis, the exam of the dies. Ragazzi, we celebrated on this channel, Kenan Yildis. Fantastic goal against PSV, Alla Del Piero. The destiny is written, the future is written, and all you want, and we are supporters, we are Tifosi, and it's totally normal after the goal that he scores that we celebrate him. We should celebrate him, and we did, according to what he deserved to be celebrated. That choice of the number 10, there are so much similarities, and it's totally agree. Then, the day of Juve Napoli. If you are a journalist, if you are a redaction, a paper, and you're putting Yildiz Esame, that yes, I think that we are a bit exaggerated. There is no exam, yes. There is no exam of the number 10 for Yildiz today. He's only 19. He will play today his 32nd game in Serie A. And pay attention because a lot of them he played really a few minutes here a few minutes there he entered we know is the real first season of Kenan Yildiz can we really say that as a real starter of Serie A his, his career is starting really now this season in 24-25 you can't go with an exam of uh, Kenan especially because in four games it's already two assists in Serie A he played in Champions League, he scored one goal, but we put it aside because we focus on the, the Italian league. There is no... Imagine your yield this, this morning, you're walking your dog because in Torino they love to have dogs. I don't know if Canon has a dog. You go in front of the kiosk and what do you see? A paper. It is the exam of the yes. What a pressure. What a pressure. No Canon. No Canon. We Juventini, we are not putting all our hopes on you to decide the game. You are that joker, you are that added value, you are the one that is doing that magic, that is solving games because of your talent, because of your skills, because we love you, because we know that you can do it, but not everything, not the world you need to put on your shoulder and carry it. That's not what we are expecting from you. 
and they continue, article in Tutto Sport, Prova del 9 nella Serra del Gildies, the big test for in the night of the number 10. And also referring, of course, Yield, yes, the number, yes, playing against Napoli, Maradona, even without really mentioning it too much in the big titles, to Gazzetta Lo Sport, of course, they are doing it. Colpi di genio, genius skills. And it's true that if you want to speak about Juve, Napoli, the most skillful guys are Kenan Yildiz, are Kvaratskele, obliged to speak about them, obliged to have their pictures in the papers. I totally agree with them, but it's one thing is having their picture and speaking about them and telling you that they can really do something, they can change the game. Another thing is the exam of Kenan Yildiz, that according to me is exaggerated. Then of course, Gazeta, they start really well and then they exaggerate with, there will be a lot of magic with Yildiz Kvaratskele, they are dreaming about Platini and Diego Maradona. The exam, dreaming about Platini, Maradona. Luckily, there is a Mauro, ex-player of Juve, ex-player of uh, Napoli, that spoke about the game. He said, Michel Platini, you can't reach it. It is impossible. He knows about Platini. He knows about Maradona. He said, Paratskelia, look a bit more to Maradona. Learn from him. So a bit more rational there, but that picture, I think, is totally out of context for a guy of 19 years old. Calma, calma, calma. I prefer today the title of Corriere dello Sport. They sing Cinque Stelle, five stars, because that's what it should be. A five-star game, a game that will probably be watched in the entire world with a lot of duels, with a lot of stars, with two teams that are hoping to go there again on top of Serie A, we know it, Torino is on top at the moment as we speak, with 11, if Napoli wins they go first at 12 point, if Juve wins we go back at 11, joining our cousins, Juve Napoli extra large, and the possible anti-Inter can go out of this team, it's early, it's early, but it's true that if we will stop after match day four, five and look, it's true that if Napoli wins and Inter will win, probably against Milan, well, we probably already start having another narrative in the media, not a realistic one, but at least for a few weeks that could be the new narrative. If it's Juve, we go towards another narrative. So it's true that uh, the anti-Inter for a few weeks at least can come out of that game. But I would prefer that we focus on other duels than Kenan Yildiz and the exam of Kenan Yildiz. A duel between Dusan Vlaovic and Romelu Lukaku. We are speaking about Dusan Vlaovic with 177 games in Serie A, 79 goals already. 131 games for the Belgian player with 72 goals already scored. We know it. Huh? Lukaku Conte is a magic formula. We are waiting for that big test of Vlaovic. I don't want to come back to two summers ago where we were really speaking about that swap Lukaku Vlaovic. I have absolutely no regret about that one. But it's true that we are expecting a lot from Dusan Vlaovic. Now it's time for Dusan to, to do. But not only Dusan. You can't put everything on one player only. I love when they are speaking about the duels of the Giants, Bremer-Lukaku will be a big duel. There will be Cope Manners and Gisa that will be an extremely important duel on the field. By the way, if you are here, wait a bit because we will go towards the tactical maps, how the game will be played probably by two teams today. Nico Gonzalez, and pay attention to Buongiorno, I will try to manmark him. These are the things that I probably we'll see today these duels that can change the game more than the exam of Yildi. Sorry if I repeat always like that. The first tactical thing that we can take out, especially of the game 4-0-1 by Napoli against Cagliari, but uh, since the beginning of the season, is that they played that 3-4-2-1 with Farak Skelia a bit more closer to Lukaku, but Lukaku is really the point, the reference points for all the players. If you look at progressive passes, you receive 21 of them, which are really, really, really a lot. Looks like the entire team of Napoli, they always try, especially with Lobotka, to go towards Lukaku, Lukaku, Lukaku. If it's not immediately Lobotka, Lukaku, it goes to or Politano, Lukaku, or Kvaratskelia, Lukaku, but Lukaku is the main man, so we'll need really to block him. How can we do it? Or at least how? Wait, with who can we do it? There are two different lineups, one that is really looking nearly like the one of PSV, so reconfirmation of the Champions League game with Di Gregorio, four-man defense, Kalulu, Gatti, Bremer, Cambiaso, in the middle Locatelli with one change, Turam, and then Gonzalez, Nico, Kopmanes, Yildiz, in front, the number nine, that is Dusan Vlahovic. 
a change of formation for Napoli that is going towards that 4-3-3, and I will tell you why in a second. So it's good. Gatti recuperated, will be called up for today. I'm just waiting for the squad list to be sure, but 99% yes. Confirmed yesterday by Tiago Motta. But we have another news this morning. Giovanni Albanese said, pay attention because it's not 100% yet. We are not sure. He could potentially play if he doesn't make him. And that will be decided in the last minutes. Kalulu could take his spot as a center back. And Savona can go on the right side of the field. So we'll discover that in the latest minutes. And this is actually the lineup made by Gazzetta dello Sport in a 4-1-4-1 with Di Gregorio into the goal, Savona, Calulu, Bremer, Cambiaso, Locatelli as the pivot there, Nico Gonzalez, McKenny, Kovmanos, Yelis and Dusan Vlaovic. Two different lineups, especially in defense depending on Gatti, but also in the midfield. One is playing with Turam Locatelli, one is playing with McKenny. McKenny did a fantastic game against PSV. I'm not sure if he's the man today uh, to face a Napoli with a 4-3-3. Why are they changing way of playing because that 3-4-2-1 was one thing with four midfielders but now they want to create even more density it's a team that will probably play in the beginning of the game lower they will create a lot of density in the midfield to actually be the king that where that's where it will be played it's a team that is dangerous Napoli yeah? if you're looking in the four first games of Serie A and you look and you compare the stats, well, they are a bit better in everything. In average goals per game, 2.25 for them. We have 1.5 in uh, in nearly all the stats. In uh, the passes completed and the passes completed succession, it's only these stats where Juventus is better. Otherwise, key passes, team defense position, dribbling, fouls committed, defensive haul, but every stat is towards a Napoli. So we need to really pay attention because they are really, really, really dangerous, especially because it's a team that, in terms of attempts, 72 are the leaders of that Serie A after four games, while Juve is 14th with only 44 attempts. So you see there is a big gap with a really dangerous Napoli, especially offensively. So how can we block and stop Napoli? Well, I was thinking if we play, let's say, with Savona Kalulu, uh, if we play with Turam Locatelli, what I would recommend it will be an important one. Why? Because we need to block that Lukaku that you see that I have put in that special training guy, huge, big in the middle there, static, quite static in the beginning, but we need to try to close him with a square, Bremer, Kalulu, Locatelli, Turam, so that these passes or the possibility to pass to Lukaku are really, really, really smaller and obliging actually Kvaratskhelia and Politano to go wider. And that's where Savona and Cambiaso, they will need to pay attention to them. More Savona defensively on Kvaratskhelia, a bit less Cambiaso, but he needs to stay really wide, like he did against PSV, and that we all appreciated his game. The support will come from Kalulu to support Savona on Kvaratskhelia, that double filter, and then we need to see a big work of Turam Locatelli in terms of communication between the two of them. Who goes the first one on Angisa? Who goes the first one on Lobotka? Who goes the first one on McTominay that could possibly play today? They will need to combine to communicate, to pay attention to the first one in ball possession so that not both of them are going because otherwise you lose that total square. Pay attention to that one. Why are we looking at that defensive face with the yellow arrows? Because we want to keep as much green arrows with our offensive players. These players should today not make even more intense and compact that midfield, but trying to find spaces with Coke Miners going left, right and going up he's not the one logically that should man mark Lobotka otherwise we lose in uh, in men offensively then we will have again an isolated Dusan Vlaovic he will need to try to make himself free so that when we recuperate the ball with a Turam for example or Locatelli in the first touch we are immediately able to find a Dutchman Yildiz taking care offensively but also paying attention to Cambiaso a bit less because Cambiaso needs to push a bit so that Politano is not super high offensively but Yildiz needs to pay attention to come centrally, because they will play with a four-man defensive. We need to give a bit of support to Dusan, but also really straight on. Nico Gonzalez, a bit different job, going on the left, uh, sorry, going on the right side, giving offensive support, but also paying attention that Oliveira, if he plays, or Spinazzola are not pushing too high. So a lot of tactical things to try to win the game of today. 
pronti per il salto, ready for the jump. This is what Gazzetta dello Sport is saying. Primo test Scudetto, is it the real Scudetto, the first real Scudetto test? Season is long, but it's true that today another draw, Juventini will not be that happy because of the other two. If we won the other two and we had at the moment 12 on 12, a draw today would not be nice. But at least, you know, we would have been able to put it into a context, understanding the situation, a game of Champions League, a game more played than Napoli. But after the two draws of the last uh, two weeks, before and after international break, would not be seen well. If we lose, it's, it's, it's bad. It's really bad. Nothing is lost, nothing is won. If we win, nothing is won yet. But pay attention. Uh, we finish with, I think, the last thing. Eh, it's true. Why am I saying that? Because if we're looking at the ranking, it's really a bit unusual. It didn't happen since 47 years, so I didn't experience it. That at the match day five, Torino at the moment, at the moment, is first in that ranking with 11 points after five games. So it's a bit strange and we should avoid that this starts to be a habit. Juventus needs to be over Torino always. That being said, I hope you enjoyed it. We see each other for the watch along pre-game, one hour before, more or less. Watch along and, of course, the post-game of Juventus-Napoli. Ciao, grazie, forza. Juve.